Hey, this is Sebastian from Pitcam TV, and I'm here with Marcus from Northlane. How are you doing, man? Very well, man. Just had a bit of a long drive to get here, but yeah. now we're here. It's great. <laughs> you came from Stuttgart, right? And you're on a Europe run with some festivals and club shows. Yeah. Well, we had, um, yeah, we've had a few festivals already, um, and actually had our first Euro headline yesterday, which was really cool. It was mental. So much yeah. fun. <laughs> Now we're here in Berlin for the listening session. How, what do you feel about this? You're stoked to get the music out to the fans here tonight? Yeah, definitely. Um, we've had a couple of them already, um, and they've all gone really well so far. The like reaction we've gotten, it's been crazy, really overwhelming. Um, yeah, I suppose it's we're not really quite sure what to expect from people and what they're going to think of the of the new sound, but everyone's been really positive with it so far, so. Yeah, well, I think so too. You have three three songs out right now, yeah. Rod, Ron, Obelisk yeah. so far. Um, well, can you say what the album, what the rest of the album sounds like? Is it like the three songs we've already heard or are there way more uh, surprises that we haven't heard yet? Um, I think there's a lot of variety on this, on this new album. Um, I don't think any song quite sounds the same as another. Mm. Um, I suppose, yeah, those three songs were just, you know, um, good songs to get out to people. But I think as a whole, the album is best enjoyed listening to it in full. <laughs> I yeah. think it was really hard to pick singles for the, yeah. for the album just because they're all so different and they're all really different to how Northland has sounded in yeah. previous times. So I suppose picking those was... Yeah, a tough one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's that's important for you. Well, you kind of switch in the band so quickly. That was the change with Adrian. Mm -hmm. You made the audition. You're in the band. I mean, having the time back now. What do you think of this change? And how much changed for you? I mean, your life is totally switched. How, what, how does it feel like? What do you think about it now that you can look back a, f a few months, a few weeks? Now? Yeah, it's pretty insane. Like I've, I've said it before. It's just I'm not really sure it's all caught up with me yet. Like. We've just been doing so much, and it, everything we've been doing has almost just been getting bigger and bigger. Like now we're on the a Euro Festival run, and like we played Download Festival in the UK just last week. And for me, that was a dream. Like, and it, everything that's been happening has just been so crazy. And but exactly what I've been wanting to do for most of my life. So I'm really uh, lucky to be doing what I'm doing. <laughs> do you know how the band uh, took part with with Adrian? Do you follow what he's doing or what kind of music he's? He's uh, um, working on right now. Well, not really. Um, it's not like I've, we've, it's not like they've cut ties with or anything. It's just we're all really busy. We've all been on the road like nonstop, and um, yeah, I'd love to actually meet him and hang out with him one day. Yeah. Actually, we've had like a message between them, maybe wanting to hang out, but yeah, we don't really have the chance to do that. Um, you know, we haven't really uh, had the chance to show him anything either. So, but you know, we're all on a new path and yeah. moving towards the new sounds. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about this sound. I mean, the record is called Note. It's coming out July 24th, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, like, can you tell us about the songwriting you did on that record? I know that I think your guitarist, John, does a whole lot of stuff for yeah. this, but how did, did it work? I mean, what parts did you write together? What did he do? How did this all come together? Yeah, well, well John wrote most, of the, uh, wrote most of the music and all, all of the music, well, and everyone else would kind of come in and, you know, put their own spin on what they played. Um, but yeah, the vocals uh, were me and Josh. Josh would write lots of the lyrics, or the majority of the lyrics, and then come to me. Um, and you know, we kind of back and forth and like change little things here and there, and we kind of figure out how they would fit into the song from there. Um, and then after that, I suppose, I just kind of work on melodies and phrasing of stuff. And yeah, it was a really cool way of working, just yeah. because I suppose uh, being able to focus just on melodies and how everything would be set out really um, I think makes the strongs, uh, songs a lot stronger than they yeah. would if I was kind of doing everything and uh, you know not being able to spend enough time on each thing I think yeah in both lyrics and like melodies and stuff it would have suffered so how we how we worked out it was really good yeah <laughs> um, well for me the sound is really like something new I cannot really get it I can't really describe it mm. but of course there are heavy songs that are like more some catchier stuff and all of this but um, can you say where you took like it's always hard to say inspirations and ideas but how did they come up and was it something that you took it from um, well, we all have a pretty varied um, interest in music like we all listen to very different stuff like John's listening to just a lot of electronic music at the moment and I'm 
into just like you know soft kind of ambient rock and you know everyone's into their different things so but so I think that makes for um good influences on this style of music because as opposed to just listening to heavy music and drawing influences from things that have already been done in this style it's kind of cool to get outside of the box and you know mix it up a bit yeah mm. So then you're going to be in Europe for a tour soon. Yeah. I think it's coming September, October. October, October with that. volumes and the Acacia Strain, that's yes, it? Yes, yeah. the hell is from Australia. So that'll be, yeah, it's going to be mental. Um, yeah. You know, I love all those bands and I'm really excited to see them all um, up close. Um, and to come back to Europe again as well, yeah, yeah like this, this time around has been awesome as well. Like f this is my second time in Europe now and it's, it's so awesome. It's such a different place to um, back home and I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see main difference in how people react to you here in Europe? I mean, you did the Parkway tour, you're doing the tour now. Yeah. Um, then uh, regarding con yeah, wh when you're in Australia, where you're from, obviously. Yeah, well, I think the first time we came around, it was a bit, um, or the first time I was able to come around, it was, uh, I think people were still kind of getting used to the fact and the tour we were on as well was uh, a bit of a heavier one. Um, but this time around, it's been mental, like, Every show has been really unexpected, like the reaction we've gotten. Um, like it's, yeah, it's been mental, I can't even understand like uh, being on the other side of the world and all these people being so passionate about our music. It's really, I didn't even get it until we've kind of come and done it now. So yeah, it's mental, I love it. It's really, they're very passionate fans here, so yeah. Um, maybe one, one last question about, about the music, the band, the personality of the band kind of. Well, the record is called Note. You have this like triangle artwork, mm -hmm. and it all seems very new. But it's really hard to to get the the feeling of the band, like the, the profile. Okay. Can you kind of, from your perspective, do you have a North Lane? What North Lane is right now? Explanation, description. What would you put on your Facebook band info? <laughs> yeah, I'm not too sure. Like we. Obviously, we've been trying to do a lot of different things with the new music, so um, yeah, I don't really like to pigeonhole the style we're doing. You know, there's a lot of different styles in there, but I think in the end, what it comes down to is it's our sound now. So, but that's the thing with North Lane. Um, they've always been trying to evolve and change their sound album to album. So this is just another step in that, and. Next album, I'm sure it'll sound a lot different as well. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, when you came from pretty much, well, not nothing, but you started new with, with you as a vocalist. And now being here, I think we have a lot of a lot to, to expect and uh, to, to look forward to the next record. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really excited to yeah. keep moving forward and seeing what we can do. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for your time. Thanks for having me. Have a good time here. Yeah, have a good tour. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my first one. Um, Imagine when I was. We get more views if you take off. Six feet. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be flexing the whole time. That's why. Um, but yeah. Okay. I'll take it off. No, my nipples are actually kind of too hairy right now, so I'm gonna leave it. But um, imagine was my first one. I was 16, and I went to Little Rock, Arkansas, which is just like, you know, a town way out of out in the boonies to get um to get it done.